Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Russ with RWGResearch.com. Gonna have to make this video quick um, because the little ones out here wanting my attention. TV. Yeah, she wants the TV on. You uh, there's nothing on. Nothing's on. Probably get keyboard till I get done. <laughs> she wants my attention. This is why I don't get nothing done right here. But that's okay. Stuff's falling. All right, so welcome to my uh, chaotic, organized mess. Uh, I'm trying to do some recycling still. So as you can see, I've got the uh, here you go. I've got the uh, half of these divider plates on here um, with the holders in place. So you can see five of them on there, and I still have to do the other half. As you can see, they're just floating on here. Um, and here's what I did. I cut some shims at close to the approximate angle. And uh, they basically, they fit in here like this. One on top and one on bottom. Um, as you can see, the angle isn't perfect. There's a little bit of slop here and a little bit of slop there. And the reason for that is, is I actually brought this all the way down to the bottom and just like this and placed it flush with the back because the back here is perfectly uh, exactly three quarters of an inch and then I took some hot glue and I tacked it right here on the edge and then I pulled this piece out and the hot glue would hold this back in place and then I would just eyeball it for squareness across the center here um, these are really close but not quite so just to give you an idea how I did that um, so let's see if I can find some right there let me focus. Okay, right there, that's hot glue. Right on this edge. Alright, right there and there. And then everything else all the way around here, except for the very, I can point to it, the very bottom here. Everything else is um, a different type of glue. It's, it's called a welder. Here, let me help you. Set it down. Daughter's playing with a keyboard. Set it on the floor. There you go. Now do some typing. <laughs> Gotta love the kids. So anyway, um, and then basically I took a type of glue. It's called welder. It's uh, it's a rubber cement type glue uh, or a cement type glue. And basically just beaded it all the way around the top and the bottom. And you can see these things are uh, are stiff. So they're on there. On the bottom side, where I made this cut, I'll get a better one here. All right, so I cut these, and um, as you guys saw in the other video, cut the bottoms of these here. See the light, and then what I did is I put these on here and took some super glue, and just super glued the bottoms, and you can see I'm bending them and they're not breaking. All right, and then now the bottom and the tops are together, and uh, I can go on my way with the measuring getting these spaced out just right and uh, yeah sorry about the horrible footage today I'm kinda trying to watch the little one not getting hurt out here so anyway you can see how these are just sitting on here what happened now don't touch it it's a tiller I'm tilling the yard up okay sounds like it's time to go but I just wanted to give you guys an update Come here. What? What? Do you want me to hold you? Come here. I got you. Up we go. Help me explain the EPG. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to let you know this is what I'm doing. And I wanted to know the, ch share the progress with you. So it looks like those are going to stay very well. And I can go ahead and start spacing these out and getting them glued. And uh, looks like we're good. So oh, I did want to show you one more thing. Set you down for a second. Dad? Yeah, you want my camera. You want the fan on? There we go. There you go. Now the fan's on. Yeah, I know you like it. I did want to show you one more thing real quick. I wanted to show you this epoxy. I wanted to show you that you can see... Oh, let see if I can get a little bit better view. You can actually see through that entire tube all the way around. Alright. There is... It doesn't look like it. I don't know why this light's not working out very well. But basically, there there is spacing all the way through this pipe all the way around and that's how that thin piece of plastic 
and that epoxy worked out. So you can actually tell if something's touching and it's not, uh, luckily. So there you go. Thought that was pretty cool. All right, this is uh, Russ with RW Research. I gotta get going. Kids are wanting my attention before she gets hurt. Don't sit on those. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace and love. Take care. And uh, I'm gonna go spend some time with the family. Later. Coming along, slowly but surely.